Welcome back everyone, so today we are going to learn how to animate CSS grid. As you can see, this is what we are going to be building. And we have three buttons basically, which is animate grid column, animate grid row, and animate grid gap. And as you can see, if I click this animate grid column, as you can see, we have this beautiful animation because this basically will change the width of the item here. As you can see, it's more width, okay? As you can see, nice. And also we can animate the grid row, which is the space row here. Okay, if I click, as you can see, we have beautiful animation as well. And of course, we are going to styling this gap as well. We can do that. So let's click this. And as you can see, we have this uh, space here. Okay, more space. Nice. So we are going to use package call animate CSS grid. And we are going to use uh, just vanilla JavaScript so we can uh, use this script here. But of course, you can use React and Vue. You can just uh, install the package and you can import the web script and then you can use that. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to do that with just HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing is we are going to create file called I'm gonna say index.html and also style.css. Let me say style.css and also we're gonna use app.js. Okay. Let's hit enter and we should have this free file. Okay, so let's first go to index and explanation enter, and we have this simple HTML tag. So first, I'm going to change the title here to, let's say, Animate CSS Grid. Okay. So inside this body, I'm going to wrap everything inside the container class. And then inside in here, I'm going to put H1 and let's say, Animate CSS Grid. Okay. Inside this container, which is down here, down the H1. So I'm going to create the button. So it is three buttons here. So I'm going to wrap everything inside the div with class buttons. Okay. Like so. So let's create button and then I'm going to give a class called BTN and let's create three buttons. So I'm going to hit enter and we should have three buttons. So I'm going to let's see format document here. So here we go. Should be down here. There we go. And I'm going to let's change the text here with animate CSS. So we can just click this, I think. Just typing that animate, let's say grid column. Also, it is going to be animate grid row. So let's put here animate grid row and animate grid gap. Okay. So I'm going to change this class to btn dash column. Then this one bts dash btn dash row and also this one it should be btn dash gap. Okay, just like that. So I have extension called live server, so I can click this go live and it should be open a local host 5500 and should be have animate and this button here. Okay. And also I'm going to create the grid. So down here, I'm gonna do div with class uh, grid. Okay, so inside this grid, I have item and I'm going to give a name grid item. Okay, and let's create, let's say 10 item here. Here we go. So if I save, there's nothing here. We're done styling the grid. Let's go to up here and I'm going to link my CSS. So I'm going to say link colon and then CSS. So we have this style sheet and then the ref should be style.css which is this file here okay so first i'm going to just make sure everything's work so i'm going to say background let's say red so here we go okay everything is work so first i'm going to reset the margin and padding so i'm going to say margin to zero and then the padding i'm going to set that to zero and the box sizing let's set that to border box okay just simple reset here and also I'm going to grab the body and I'm going to change the font family to uh, let's say Arial Helvetica set serif and also I'm going to grab the container class okay so let's say container and then I'm going to add the margin into let's say to RAM okay so 
Here we go. So let's make it side by side here. Just like that. And first, I'm going to styling the button. So let's say comment buttons. And then I'm going to grab the class buttons. And in here, I'm going to add the margin top. Let's say margin top to one RAM. And also the display, I'm going to set that to flex because I'm going to add space between the button here. So that's why I'm put display flex here because I'm going to put the gap here. Okay, so the gap is 10 pixel. So as you can see, we have this space. All right. So next, I'm going to styling the individual button. So I can grab the buttons class and I'm going to grab all the button inside the buttons class. So first, I'm going to change the background to coral. And then I'm going to remove the border. Let's say border none. And then I'm going to add padding. Say padding top and bottom 10 pixel. Left and right, I'm going to say 50 pixel. And also, I'm going to change the font size into, let's say, 50 pixel. And also, the cursor, I'm going to change that to pointer. And also, the border radius. Border radius, I'm going to set that to, let's say, to pixel, which is the radius in the border here, okay, around the border. So here we go. We have the nice button here. Okay, cool. So next, let's create the grid. So first, let's make a comment here. Let's say grid. Okay, so first, I'm going to grab the class here. So the grid class here. Okay, so let's do here. Let's say grid. Let's first add the margin top into, I'm going to say 50 pixel. And also here, I'm going to say display to grid. And also, uh, I think I'm going to styling the item so you can see. So I'm going to grab the grid and then I'm going to grab the grid item. Okay. Because in CSS, you can grab all the class with this symbol here. Okay. So now we can grab all of this class. Here, okay. Just like we did it into the buttons here. Okay. We grab all the button. So inside this grid item what we need to do is let's add the hake here so hake let's put 200 pixel and also the width i'm going to set it to just give the same value 200 pixel and let's give a background color into dark violet so i'm going to say dark violet okay if i save we should have this one here so i'm going to add the grid template column here so let's say grid template columns into i can say one fraction one fraction to create two column okay you can also create three column by add one fraction again here okay as you can see but we can also use repeat so you can say repeat and then three time the one fraction so it's do the same thing okay it's always three column but we can use out of it so let's do here I'm going to remove this three and i'm going to say out of it we use uh let's use min max okay the minimal value i'm gonna say 200 pixel and the maximal value is going to be one fraction i can also change the width here to 100 percent we can say 100 percent and then save and here we go okay the width here it should be have a minimal width it should be 200 pixel and the maximal width will be one fraction okay so if i add another value here let's say 200 pixel as you can see the minimal it should be 200 pixel like that okay so let's make it 200 pixel again here we go so next let's create another styling here so i'm gonna say transition okay so what happened is basically i'm going to create a class here with some styling so let's say create column and then when I click this grid column, I'm going to add this class, which is grid column, into this grid here with JavaScript. Okay. So let's first styling this. I'm going to copy this grid template column. And basically, what I'm going to do is just change this minimal value. So I'm going to say 500 pixel. And also here, I'm going to create class called grid rows. Okay. And I'm going to say grid auto rows 
and I'm going to say 50 RAM okay and also I'm gonna say grid gap and in here I'm going to just change the gap value the grid gap here I'm gonna change that to let's say 50 pixel so now what we need to do is let's go to Java, JavaScript but before that we need to link this we are going to use script I'm gonna say source okay the source should be dot slash app dot js in here I'm going to say alert say hello js but just make sure we have the JavaScript run in our browser that's mean it's already link in our index here okay cool so what we need to do first here is I'm going to get the elements say get the elements the first thing is I'm going to create variable call btn column okay I'm going to get this button here basically so I'm gonna say set equals to and I'm going to use document dot query selector okay I'm going to get this class here with the end column I can copy and put the here so just make sure you use the dot here okay so now we can just copy this couple time and it's going to be button row let's say button row and I'm going to grab the button row so we can say btn row okay also here we are going to grab the btn gap we are going to use the btn desk gap class and also the last thing is we need to grab the grid here so you can say you can just say grid container okay and we are going to grab the grid so down here i'm going to listen for the click event into the button column so i'm going to add add even listener into the button column i'm going to listen for click event and then down here we are going to run function after we click the button we need to for now i just want to console log let's say button column click so if i save and open the console let's go to console here and if i click you can see button column click okay that's work now let's copy this and paste a couple time and it's going to be the button row it's going to be the button gap okay just like that should be button row click it button gap click okay if i click animate grid column button as you can see here button column click if i click this one button row if i click this one button gap Okay, everything is worked just fine cool what we need to do next is when i click this one here i'm going to add uh let's see this grid column class into the into the grid container here so let's do so i'm gonna say grid container and i'm gonna say class list and i'm gonna use toggle so i'm going to toggle class call grid column okay and as you can see let's do if i click this the width of the minimal min max should be changed as you can see here okay and also if i inspect element here you will see let me showing you here let's make it bigger okay so as you can see this class here should be have new class called grid column you can see it's working and also for this one i'm going to toggle another class as well here so the class it should be grid row okay so let's say grid row and for down here as well i'm going to use grid gap okay so let's say grid gap so if i click this one it should be half class grid row as you can see you can see the space is changed and also if i click this one it should be the gap Okay, but for now we don't have the animation, right? To use the animation is pretty pretty simple. What we can do is let's go to this package here, animate CSS script, and I'm going to use this script 
copy that and go to index.html and I'm going to put right here okay and also to use that is pretty simple what we can do is first we need to call this animate CSS grid we can just copy this go back here and we can do animate CSS grid dot you can see here wrap grid okay so you can say wrap grid and also just make sure you use a camel case be camel case here and we need to put the grid container here okay so let's say grid container okay and also here we are going to put the option so here i'm going to create let's say animate option okay let's create the variable up here so i'm going to say cons animate option okay basically it's just an object it's, it's couple key value here so i'm going to use duration to 600 so let's say duration 600 and also for the easing okay i'm going to use back in out the back in out so you can see here okay the easing is back in out basically you can use anything you want here you can use linear you can use is in is out as in out back in out anticipate you can you can try all of this value first i'm going to use this back in out save that out and let's see if i click this nice okay it's pretty pretty cool you can change the duration if you want the 6000 okay if i click this it's so slow okay you can see i think 600 is nice here we go you can change the uh, animation here to linear if you want the linear if i click you can see pretty pretty cool okay but i don't like this i like to use back in out basically so as you can see pretty cool you can also add the on star function and on end function here if you want so let's just try to use on star here I'm going to copy that and put that here and inside in here I just want to console log let's say animate star okay so let's save let's see here into the console let's see I click this as you can see animate star animate star animate star okay you can also run function when the animation and you can use on and and this animate element list you can do in here okay so i think that's it guys for this video it's pretty nice and pretty simple package and of course you can use this package into the react and also view okay it's pretty simple to use that so i think that's it and thank you so much guys to watching and see you in the very next video Thank you. Bye.